We are G-Cubed. Last week, we talked about what Nintendo needs to do to bring the hype at E3 2017. But what about Sony? Huge lead already in the console war. I, I guess you could say it's kind of over, uh, at least for this round. The War's PS4, over, signing Xbox treaties. One. Uh, I mean, th- they both did very well. Uh, I'm still trying to fire some guns. One did a lot better than the other. I was a bit underwhelmed last year with E3 kind of as a whole. Uh, but what does Sony need to do to get you excited? Now, Rick, this is interesting for you because you are kind of on that Microsoft. Uh, you, you kind wagon. of screw, you, you, you skew green, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's as green as can be. <laughs> So you're, you're, I, it you're sounds kinda, bad. You're kind of being green. You're kind of you know, on you know, that you know side. You know what it is for this for this console? The green is the perfect color for Xbox because they're envious of everything we got. Uh, what is going uh, on? Uh, <laughs> that's some. That looks like yeah. some fanboy console war bullshit. That the I PlayStation will not 4 has done fantastic, <laughs> but <laughs> now it, it even with the Pro, you know, in, in the face of the Nintendo Switch, it just came out and it's having some success early, early, and Scorpio, which we're going to hear about very soon. Yeah. What do they need to? bring to the show to kind of keep the spotlight on themselves? Uh, I think a lot of it is going to have to be dates on a lot of the things that they've already set up the last two E3s. Okay. Uh, so giving a date to Days Gone, uh, Final Fantasy remake, the at least the first episode. Uh, we, Death Stranding? I, I, don't, that's, I, I think Death Stranding is not going to get a date. That I might think be it's a gonna, few years out. I now. think that's going to be like, they're going to tease another weird footage thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe involving Emma Stone. Oh, who was supposed yeah. to be rumored to be in it. She did like the makeup um, or something, right? Yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not sure. Um and then I mean, the thing that Uncharted getting uh, I imagine Uncharted is going to get the Lost Legacy. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to get a date because yeah. I don't think it's dated yet. Uh, I was dated 2017. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think it's going to get like an exact date. Right. Um, uh I think that uh something that I the, the main things that I'm concerned about is Death Stranding, Final Fantasy 7 remake. Um. Oh, and of course, Last of Us Two. If if they show any more t- about that, now, I almost feel like they're gonna I, platform, I, but they've always kind of skewed like Sony for like bigger who? announcements. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, you know what's definitely gonna be. I was Sony's forgot corner. about them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know who's gonna be 100 percent there in Sony's corner. Your boys over at Bungie with their Destiny Two. Yeah. They, they, they're they're going to take a full little segment. I guarantee that. Yeah, yeah they, that'll they probably not, be a big chunk. They were not shy about talking. Uh, about how the PS4 was their lead skew um, for Destiny 1. Obviously, Destiny 2 is on the horizon now. The trailer's out there for consumption. And it sounds like the early access might be a, a PlayStation they're, thing. They already said it was. Yeah. Okay. The, the, they're doing the same thing they did last time with like the alpha so and the, the beginning of the beta I, on PlayStation 4. I think they have marketing rights to Destiny. They did PC as well, but just not for early yeah. access. Yeah. Uh, they have marketing rights for Destiny. I think WB Games, I think like if they have yeah, a Batman everything. game, sure. it'll be there. Um, Assassin's Creed is does that have a um? I don't think so. Sony. Yeah, I was I wasn't sure about now, that. Now, as as far as superheroes go, they do have Spider Man kind yeah. of in oh, the. Oh yeah, games. yeah, that's locked down. Yeah, that's gonna have to be. Uh, that's gonna be a dated. 2017 uh, release too. I don't think so. No, they no they they um Insomniac said uh, refuted that rumor. Oh, did they? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so just just clear that up. The rumor was that the game would be launching in the same in window the summer, as the as the movie, the movie as yeah. Opening. And that's too soon. Yeah. I would still think they'd get it out before the end of the year, though, because you don't want to lose you don't want to lose the hype. To I me, to me possible, like that would have been striking when the iron was hot, but they I don't think that that deal was made. Like they can make a you can make a movie right. faster than you can make yeah. a game, or at least I, a good I, game. I'm still thinking they give you a November release on. That. I and and that's that's being optimistic. Yeah. I think when we're looking at uh, how many games have we seen that came out, we go, man, this really could have benefited from like another. You know, a couple year. of months in the oven, or a year. couple of years in the oven, whatever. Jesus, years, God. Um, I mean, Mass Effect comes to mind. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> they're patching it. Yeah, exactly. So, so we're we're looking at this situation where is this big company really going to force out a game? They shouldn't. I mean, they, I don't think they're in a position where they should feel like they have to. Right, and they've seen it so many times yeah. where you rush this game. Well, I mean, hopefully they learned their lesson from No Man's Sky. Yeah. Yeah, that that That's, had, that they, was probably something that I probably, mean look look what would have happened if they would have given No Man's Sky six months. Sure, sure. I I think I'm more interested on what new things are gonna pop up. Um. There's I mean I guess Sucker Punch has something new that's gonna be coming out, but I don't 
I'm talking about like least, I'm yeah. talking about something that yeah. I. That is just going to blow us away. Something that's going to be a complete surprise. I, I can't think of anything. I mean, if I'm going for left field things that would bring bring me excitement and joy, a new SOCOM in the vein of SOCOM 2. Not SOCOM 3 or 4 bullshit. SOCOM 2. Sure, sure, sure. They bring me a new SOCOM like that. Uh, I know there was a crowdsource game that was supposed to be like a spiritual successor. Yeah, me and Joe both have it on our PCs. Yep. They also still have Siphon Filter uh, license. Uh, sure. Like don't they have um, the other one too? Uh, the other Tom Clancy. God damn it, Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell. They're making no. a TV show for that, by the way. Well, Splinter Cell is uh, Splinter Cell is multi-platform though. Yeah. Yeah. So, are there any big maybe third-party gets that they can they can bring over? Is there is there anything left in the console gaming space that they can maybe capture? Are you talking about like as a as a full-on third-party exclusive, Sony exclusive? Um, maybe not exclusive, or but just like, as like a deals. third party in general. It, do you remember uh, several years ago where one of the one of the big announcements was one that Metal Gear was coming to the Xbox, ended up being Rising, and the other was um, Final Fantasy Thirteen was coming to the Xbox. Uh, something something I in mean, the in the vein of that. I I I need to see five minutes of in engine Final Fantasy Seven. Okay. Uh. Well, yeah, I know they they need a they need a I follow need five up on minutes. Final Fantasy. I need seven. five minutes at least. Cyberpunk. At least. Cyberpunk. I don't know. Cyberpunk's not going to be um any three. Some this random year. guy off camera was just yelling. You don't, you don't think so? Mobile no, I don't think by. so. They uh CD Projekt Red has been pretty vocal about like it'll be out when it's out, and I think they just hire they have like three hundred people working on the game, sure. so you, and they still are hiring people. You think they're going a Blizzard sure. route where they're like, we've got the reputation, now we can release games whenever we want and people will just deal with it? No, I just think that they're not ready to show anything because they still have a lot of work to put into it. Right. Um, that's well, what hell, I look think. At, look at what your boy Kojima did last year. He has he, he didn't even have an engine yet and he put something out there. Yeah, but he, he, he did that with he did that with uh, with Phantom Pain. I mean, like he, he kept on marketing that for forever. He, no. he put out a demo of the game. True. <laughs> before. True. Now, um, Sony kind of doubled down on uh, the VR, uh, at least in the commercial space. They're trying to get people to kind of buy into uh, the PSVR headset as sort of uh, a platform maybe beyond well, gaming. They, but, do, they do have apparently 100 new titles coming out within like the summer window. So my question for that is not, not to go down a VR uh, path, but do, do they double down on any of their hardware? Do we see a Vita successor? I, I'm thinking they may finally break down and give us like a Vita 2. Or at least relaunch Vita. Or do they double it's, down on the PS4 Pro and if relaunch they do, that? If they do a Vita, it's going to be a Switch like well, that's, copy. Well, right. Like, after I saw those patents that came out from Sony a while true. back, like, that's what they might do if they do another handheld. Right. So let's wrap it up into a bow. What, what do you need to see? Give me three things you need to see from Sony to, to have it register on, on the, the, the Rick scale uh i will I, well <laughs> i need to see final fantasy 7 uh i need to see more uh games that are being announced that are not like three years away i okay, need yeah. things that are within the next Something 18 soon. months you want a window i yeah i need i don't like i don't like the we're gonna show this to game on the horizon. in multiple e3s I, I hate that so um you know what i hate those are the main two things that i need i, to see. I hate their 10 minutes of indie games like they They're going to have that, oh. though. I hate... Okay, yeah. and here's another thing. I don't yeah. want them to talk numbers. Pissing we talked contest, about that yeah. on screen. I, I, I don't want them you, to talk I'm about numbers. You, this is That's the a year. waste of time. Like The last two years, Sony has avoided the, the pat themselves on the back. These guys love doing yeah. it E3. But that's why they I think this is the year where they're like... The PlayStation has over 75 million out there. Yeah, like they, they, there's a place for that, and it's not yeah. like at a trade show like that. That's that's an, an investor's call. But yeah, is, exactly. But, I mean, I think the or the PlayStation of the show, experience. I think the beginning of the show, they do like a hype. Sure. I think they're gonna do the numbers game and a hype up. So, so what do you need to see? Give me, give me two. I things. mean, he he kind of hit on the same thing. I want, I want the five minutes of Final Fantasy VII in engine. Okay. I need to see that. And I, I mean, I need to see straight up gameplay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, in yeah. engine gameplay. Well, you know, the yeah. in engine like cinematics. Well, I, I mean, thought there was some. Gameplay. I thought there was some in engine gameplay that exists. There's a little but, bit. Yeah. It's not five minutes. I want yeah. five minutes. Okay. And then I want to see something substantial. I mean, they need they need to go back to their their PlayStation and PlayStation Two library of great games like Bushido Blade and freaking SOCOM and things and that Dark I always. Cloud. Yeah, just 
all these amazing old games, and they need to resurrect some of these titles. Okay. So it's, a little bit oh, of fantasy. It's time. It is, exactly. It's time to bring back. Now that they've got all the old PlayStation 2 guys back on board that yeah. they lost during the PlayStation 3 yeah. era, it's time to give it back got to us. It. It's time for NAC 2. There you go. Uh, that's probably <laughs> that's probably happening. <laughs> uh, in, in any event, in the comments section, let us know what you need to see from Sony to sort of vote with your dollars as well. Uh, in the meantime, hope we earned your like. If we did, bop that button. Hit subscribe for more content just like this. Ring the bell. And we will see you next time.